As the Supreme Court heard arguments this week on access to the abortion pill, online theories are spreading about the pill, as in birth control. And it's got medical professionals sounding the alarm. The Washington Post examines this in a recent article titled, Women Are Getting Off Birth Control Amid Misinformation Explosion. The report, piece reports that videos vilifying hormonal contraception are flooding TikTok and Instagram. And some doctors say it's causing patients to believe misleading and sometimes outright false information about their reproductive health. Joining me now is one of the authors of that piece, Lauren Weber. She is a health and science accountability reporter for The Washington Post. Um, Lauren, thanks for your time. What, what are some of the most common pieces of misinformation that are being spread right now? So physicians told my colleagues, Sabrina and I, you know, that repeatedly they would have patients come in who would say, you know, look, I don't want to be on hormonal birth control because I've seen videos where it, it'll cause me to gain weight, which there is not a definitive link to that unless it's the Depo-Provera shot, or it'll cause me to be infertile for life. And again, physicians caution that's not true, that birth control is not linked to, you know, long-term infertility. And you know, also that they would come in having just seen videos over and over and over again that may not be stating the full picture around side effects or giving you the full context. And the way that TikTok or Instagram works is, you know, once you engage with these videos, you'll see them repeatedly. Yeah. And so they they were really confused or concerned that that this could have some serious consequences for them, which these physicians have been trying to dispel. Who's pushing all these videos? You know, it's it's a mix of folks. You know, you see some influencers pushing these videos you know, who are often, you know, sometimes selling supplements or hormonal treatments. You know, you also see conservative commentators pushing these videos. And they say oftentimes that they're either asking questions for women or some of them, you know, link birth control to abortion itself. You know, one commentator told us for the story that to be anti-fertility is to be anti-woman. What are doctors that, what are the doctors that you've, spoken to, what, what are they trying to tell their patients? I can't imagine it's easy. You know, they're trying to get their patients to trust them. And I, and I think it's important to kind of have this context that, you know, women's health care has been underfunded for years. A lot of women don't feel like their doctors have listened to them or feel like this topic is very sensitive. And that allows misinformation like this to fester. So physicians as a whole are trying to make sure that they walk these patients through possible side effects, that they have more of a shared decision making process with them. And that's, you know, that's been touted as the new guidelines under the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists over the last couple of years. But, you know, a lot of women don't feel like they trust their doctor or they trust their phones more. And that leaves physicians scrambling to catch up. It's an amazing time when we trust uh, TikTok more than we trust our doctor. But are the are the social media companies saying anything about or did you talk about why this is happening or do they have any defense? You know, social media companies, you know, point to the First Amendment and say, you know, they, they try and monitor for the safety of the community, uh, but they essentially say people can post their opinions as well. So it, I think that is usually the defense that they give. And are, we, are you seeing, I mean, is it, has it been growing over the past couple months and years? Anecdotally, physicians that we spoke to said it, it's really exploded, that post-COVID, which also COVID was a large period of mistrust for the healthcare system, uh, they've seen a lot more of it. And also with the advent of TikTok and, and everyone's smartphone, that they feel like it's really accelerated. Lauren Weber, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.